Hello guys, Steven here. Now in this video, we are going to create this basic leaflet web map using the leaflet JavaScript API. And then we are going to show a base map as you can see, and then show a location around um, Kutuka International Airport in Accra, Ghana. Okay, so to help us do that, of course, we are going to need our code editor. In my case, I'm using Visual Studio Code. You can use any code editor of your choice, but I highly recommend Visual Studio Code. So I'm going to delete what I have done here, and then we are going to start from scratch. And I'll try to explain every step along the way. Okay, so first of all, make sure you connected to your project. Okay, connect to your project. In my case, I've created a project that's a folder called leaflet. So connect to it. Okay, so I have leaflet. Now, the next thing that I I am going to do, the next thing that I'm going to do, okay, um, it's to create a new file, an HTML file. Okay, so I'll click here, new file, and then I'll call it index dot html okay index dot and then the file extension to represent the file that you are creating in does the html now to set up a basic html structure okay we can use the key command control and then space bar and then i can select html sample and then i have a basic html structure set up very very simple now I am going to call to call my change the title. I'll call it I'll I'll call it leaflet. Okay, so I'll call it leaflet. Leaflet map. Okay, now with the very simple HTML file we are going to create, we will not need a standard star sheet and script. Okay, so I'm going to delete this. We will use this in future video when we are doing more advanced leaflets. Uh, concept so I'll delete that so now once I delete that I will need to um, get a CDN okay for the style sheet and then the JavaScript so to get the link to the external style sheet and then JavaScript file okay so now let's move over to the leaflet okay website okay so now go over to leaflet okay and then we are going to go to download Okay, so that's where we will get the latest versions. Okay, the latest um, hosted versions. Okay, now I'm going to copy both for the style sheet and then the JavaScript. Okay, so I'm going to copy both. So I'll copy both and then I'm going to place them directly within my head tag. Okay, so I'll place it here within my head tag. Okay, so now I have leaflet JavaScript and then CSS, okay, reference. So that means I can go ahead and then use all the necessary classes and then objects and then so on. Okay, now the next thing that I need to do, okay, is to create, I mean, a div tag, which I'll use to store the map and all its content. So to do that, I'll create a div tag within the body section okay and then I'll call it map I'll give it an ID ID of map okay and I'll specify some uh, styling for it okay um, I'll give it a width so I'll give it a weight um, of about um, a width um, a uh, width of about let's say 1350 okay so and then a height of um, about 640 okay just so that it's pixels don't forget or pixels for both instances okay just so that it will um, take over or to occupy the whole screen interface okay now now I have this, okay, I have this done, and then um, if I start, I can start, I can save, and then I can start and um, run my server, okay, save, mm. 
yeah so to do that i can just um, let me close this um to do that i can just right click the html and then click on open with live server now you can do that when you don't have this live server set up here okay so i can go to open with live server or i can click it and it will start okay now notice that um, i have my leaflet map so my browser is opened and then um it's reading on the ports html file is open but i can't see any map uh, any map okay i can't see anything here even though i've set up my map dimension and then i have referenced all the css and javascript this is because i need to write additional code okay additional code to be able to create i mean um an instance of of the map uh class do the same for the tile and then then i can add a tile to the map so i'm going to do that in three um steps of code okay so now let me create a script tag here to store some internal um javascript okay so now the first thing i'm going to do is to instantiate my map okay and then i'll I'll, I'll reference the leaflet leaflet map okay so leaflet map and then i'll reference my um the map okay object in my document okay so that's a map so i reference this map here so what i basically means is that i want all my map content to be loaded within this map um div so i will now have to um create an object okay and then give it some options okay some settings like um, the center of the map and then the zoom so i'll do this um okay so now the first thing i'm going to do is to give it a center okay so the center is where um i want my map to be centered on okay and i'm going to create an object um, an array for that and then i'll just specify um the coordinate of the location which I want or the center which I want. In this case, I'm using a, an area around Kotoka International Airport. So, a central coordinate of Kotoka International Airport. So, 5.606. Okay, so you can use whichever coordinate that you want. Okay, so this is the latitude and then that for the longitude. One seven zero, then three one two two. Okay. So then I'll have to add a zoom level. So to be specific, how much do I want to zoom into my map? So I'll set a zoom. Okay. Of fifteen. Okay. And then I think that should be it. So now I have set up my map. I need to also set up my tile, which in this case a base map. So I also do the same thing by instantiating the tau class. So var tau, var tau, and then now so var tau, and then I would say leaflet tau, leaflet tau layer. So L for leaflet, so leaflet tau layer. Okay. And then I'll have to specify the the location of the tar on on the server. Okay, so I can get that information. Um, I think I can go get that information here. Okay, so this is it. Okay, so basically I'm just re re getting the same code here. Okay, that's what I'm doing. So you can basically come and copy if. If you are lazy like somebody that i know okay so now i'll do that and then once i reference um the location to the tile image the next thing is to set up some object here so specify some options okay so i'll do this and then so the first thing it will be attribution okay so I need to it's very important because I am using a base map from an external source and then I need to to attribute it okay so you can also you can do it any way you want but I think um I'll just show you an easier way so you can just copy this so 
we are basically attributing um, OpenStreetMap, okay, so OpenStreetMap. So don't worry, I would, I would include a source code, okay, um, at the end of the video. Okay, so I think that's that. So, and you know, there are other things that you can do, okay, so you can set stuff like zoom level of the base map. You can set um, offset. You can do a whole lot of things, okay, but I'm not going to go into that, okay. You can... Um, I think you can get them under the document and then you you, you go into tile layer and then you can see all the options that you can do for that okay so um, I won't go into that now um, I think I'm done maybe the last thing that I'll have to do okay I'll save my work the last thing I have to do is to now add or load the tile into my map okay so to do that I will just say tile okay Tile, not title, tile dot add to, and then you specify um, this map instance here. Okay, so you, you you load all the information about this map. So basically, the tile is going to be added. Okay, the tile is going to be added to this map. Okay, and then the map will be drawn within this um, div div tag. Okay, so I've set up um, the necessary dimension so that. You can see, so you can set it whichever dimension that you want. Okay, now so I'm adding it to map, and then I think that should be all. And then I can save my work now. This is running a live server, so what is using a hot reload. So, what happens is that anytime you make changes, the browser refreshes and then load. Okay, so at this point, you should be able to see your map. Okay, so you don't need to save and refresh this page always. Okay, and it's a good thing to speed up your test and then your coding so you can basically see that i have created my map okay so now in the next video and i hope you'll not miss that in the next video i am going to show you how you can add um, a clickable and then draggable um markers okay and use different kind of uh, marker symbols on your map okay so subscribe to the video and then see you in the next video and um, bye